Hey viewers, welcome to game 2 of the um, uh, Counter Logic, well Canada team versus Poland, who is Gamer Berg. Um, this is the second match, as you can see now they banned, uh, so this blue team will now be CLG or Canada, and the video is even more horrible than the last one. We see a ban on Alistar, uh, Zerat and Cartus because Cartus and um, Alistar kind of screwed things up for Team Canada uh, in the first game. Zerat still probably just because he's really, really strong. Not saying he's overpowered, he's just really, really strong. Um, yeah, on the other part we see... Uh, Again, the same bands, I think. Yeah, they, those are the same bands, and they're probably going to change them up once they uh, they lose a match. But for now, there's no reason to. So uh, the picks. Let's go over those while we see the loading screen. Come on. No, loading. Lo loading screen. Okay, they don't have a loading screen, it seems. We will have to go over the picks chewing the game. Um, yeah, that's really hard to see. I think it's Rice, Tristana, Skarner. Wow, Skarner. That's that's good. Um, Skarner actually in top lane, not jungling. Udir is a jungler because, well, they were banning him last game and this game it's not banned. And um, Sona against Gangplank Morgana. Uh, Morgana who's not banned this game. Uh, Nunu, Vane, and Cannon, and yeah, there's a jungle, uh, going to be a jungle invasion from the uh, red team. Well, that's actually the purple team, and they are going to steal uh, the red buff, and probably the golems and double go, uh, the raids and double golems. But especially stealing the double golems is huge nowadays. Because the enemy team gets half a level out of that, and um, yeah, I, it might be that Tristana and Sona are going to go for that really uh, at the start of the game. And by taking this route, they didn't actually see them, and they might actually get killed. See, they are going to do the, the double golems, and this is really, really, really risky now. Oh... Didn't catch them, but stealing those is huge because now instead of the uh, AD carry being half a level up, you nobody is going to be uh, have that advantage, and you do have to use your teleport to get in top lane. But and they're going to steal red as well. Red is also one of the advantages you get if you're on the blue team, because with red being so close to your bottom lane, your uh, Ranged carry can get uh, blue. Uh, can get red quite easily, and in this case, they just stole it. So you cannot really give anything to uh, to your AD carry if it's not there. I think they did leave a few minions, so the the small minions there. And yeah, indeed, because it's still on the map, which is a big deal. Because now it won't respawn until Gangplank actually kills those two. And yeah, as you can see, the quality isn't that good. Once again, just like last game, I hope there will be a better quality video out at some point. And if there is, I will uh, inform you about that. Or please inform me about that. And I will try to uh, get it on my stream and get the commentary over that video. So if you think this is too bad of a quality, then you can either watch it later if I find another video, or you can not watch it at all. Because this is the only video available at this moment. But there will probably be someone else who, uh, who recorded it from the stream. Anyway, second game underway. Uh, we see uh, Skarner versus Cannon, and that is... Uh, Going to be a hard lane for both of them. Uh, I think that would be th that would have to go to uh, to Skarner, but I'm not actually sure how that works because Cannon does have a lot of range skills, but Skarner is just so powerful. 
He can do so many really good things. <laughs> Cannon actually tagging up the uh, the jungler there, even though he had no idea that he was there. Yeah, we're not really interested in seeing this guy's face because I have no idea who it is. But I'm assuming it is um, this Karna player. Ah, well, I have no idea to be honest. Could also be the uh, the cannon player. Um. Anyway, uh, Udir just jungling, and um, yeah, we see a gang going off here on the mid lane. But Rice is not really faced by that. He doesn't have to use any uh, skills, and yeah, the uh, flash coming out from Gangplank to get away from that. He might have gotten killed. I think he he would have been fine, but yeah, obviously they know better than I do. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. He has a different headset for his microphone than for his sound, and yeah, I have no idea why he would do that. But okay, sure, why not? Well, taking up the wood here, there with two marks of the storm. <laughs> Ah, uh, Canon. Yeah, I wanted to see the the n the names because, to be honest, I have no idea. I'm guessing Skarner is going to be Hotshot GG, but it is so hard to see anything with this quality. And yeah, I cannot read any of that. At least I know that the red team or the the purple team, I should say, is now Poland, but I already knew that. I have no idea what that says. I think it's hot to GG, but... <sighs> Whatever. Um, yeah, bottom lane once again with the Nunu support, which is excellent, I guess. Um, he doesn't have a heal, which kind of sucks, but he does have... Um, the big advantage of having a big slow really early on and a movement speed and attack speed boost which is a big deal also he has a good heal for himself and um, yeah he can help you with uh, with getting dragon and uh, baron so especially getting dragon is uh, there Nunu is a really big help because he can level up his skills pretty efficiently in bottom lane without having to do anything except toss a few of the uh, uh, ice bolts I, I forgot what they're called, the snowballs ice shards, no no it's, it's something with bolts but I'm going for ice, ice blast, that's what I'm going for, ice blast I have no idea if that's correct but whatever so it is uh, the Skarner player, the, the one on the right, because I'm assuming that's why they make this split screen. Both of them are top lane. So it is the cannon. Oh, the, no, it's the cannon player, because Hotshot was playing the Skarner. <laughs> I am so bad. Wow, the aggression from, uh, from the Tristana there, but gets... Uh, uh, I forgot the skill name again, gets thrown away at least uh, by uh, Fane. Fane not actually able to land a stun with that, but that's that was not the point anyway. I mean, the point was to get Tristana out of her face. I think it's called Expunge? I don't know, it's something like that. No, Expunge is on Twitch, come on. <sighs> I, I totally forgot what it's called. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter, but never mind. So Tristana able to farm up pretty nicely here. And there is Boxer, I think, from StarCraft 2. I think that's him. I'm not actually sure. It might also be uh, someone else. I know it's a famous someone because I recognize the face, but... Yeah, I'm not too good with uh, the video game faces because, well, we see a lot. Might also just be Stork or something like that. Dude, stop showing this face. It is so annoying. 
We know he's watching his screen. Anyway, bottom lane, the support has gone back to uh, to base. So then Nunu. And um, yeah, Skarna picking up the, uh, the, the, the gold item. What is it called? Uh, the Philosopher's Stone. And Sona still hasn't picked up hers. Same goes for enemy Nunu. Or, well, there's only one Nunu, so... Nunu is not actually able to afford that, apparently. And, um... Yeah, Morgana is stealing the raids there. Getting a little bit more gold. Arise trying to, uh... To catch her doing that, but... Didn't actually manage to. Uh, lots of stuns going off, and finally we see First Blood with actually... A nice gank by uh, by Udir. So really aggressive uh, jump from Tristana, actually landing the slow there, and that was excellent play. I didn't see the Udir coming, but yeah, the minimap is completely pixelated, so it's really hard to see anything on there. And Cannon doing a lot of damage here to Skarner, and. Wow, this time it is uh, Canada going for the dragon, but this time it's logical, because this time they actually got two kills, and they had three guys bottom, so of course you're going to go for dragon. So this game definitely starting out a little bit better, not so much for, the, well, in, in regard to the kills, but because of the first dragon. And... Yeah, the yeah the gold. I wish I could actually see that, but yeah, well, whatever. I can see that Rice and uh, Tristana have a lot of gold left over, and the enemy team all pretty much are under a thousand. So, dude, stop with the faces already. Anyway. I guess there's nothing to do on the map, and that's why they're showing this. It's also because the people who uh, are managing the camera, so who are managing, well, not only the uh, director, but also the guy that's, uh, well, managing the observer mode, basically, is from uh, WCG. He doesn't necessarily have a whole lot of experience playing this game or commenting this game, and in StarCraft 2, I, I watched a match of StarCraft 2 uh, this morning, and in StarCraft 2 it was just horrible, horrible camera work. And that's because they want to have people on the cameras that are from WCG, and in this case they didn't have any clue about the game. Also the, uh, the commentators that do the uh, League of Legends commentary, uh, aren't necessarily people who uh, oh and they're going to lose it or well get get a turret here but five bottom means you're going to push top so hopefully we'll see a counter uh, kill on top but yeah the uh, the commentators on Starcraft uh, are the same ones that are on um, uh, the the first person shooters and a League of Legends and yeah so the the commentators aren't specifically uh, for one game only and I can imagine for a specific game such as StarCraft that is really annoying I mean these people are just shoutcasters so for for a game like League of Legends it doesn't really matter or the uh, you have uh, I think it's called Karam 3D it's kind of a pool game and yeah it has been on the agenda of uh, WCG for a uh, quite a few years, but yeah, I think it doesn't ma it really matter for those kind of fans to uh, to have someone else cast their matches because everyone can pretty much see what's on screen. But StarCraft is really about these tiny things. I mean, having a Zergling run by with four Zerglings is way more important than having uh, yeah a little bit of a standoff between a whole group of Zerglings and uh, some Zealots in mid of the map. But 
Obviously, for someone who doesn't play StarCraft, it seems more important because there's a huge group of units in the middle of the map, and there are only four units in the mineral line, killing off drones of the enemy, or work workers of the enemy. Uh, in this case, probes, of course. But, um, yeah, I guess that's the big disadvantage, and that might also be the reason why, uh, why WCG is actually not doing too well in the financial department this year. They need a lot of sponsoring. It's also, or it might also be one of the reasons that League of Legends was actually allowed as a game now. Uh, because... Yeah, they need sponsoring, so you can basically buy your way onto the uh, onto the agenda. Because normally it takes a little bit more than uh, just one... Uh, well, last year they came in as a, f a new game, and normally that doesn't happen. Normally you have to be uh, on the scene for a few years, and you, you need to have a real good uh, international competitive scene to be on WCG but nowadays yeah it's it's like the Koreans say yeah, well with with StarCraft 1 it it doesn't really matter it's a nice payday but yeah who cares the uh the MLG and and uh oh no it's, it's not MLG it's um uh, the MSL and OSL are way more important in uh in Korea than this world championship because this world championship is yeah not really the best <laughs> players anyway so top turrets going down for uh for CLG or Canada but they are called counter logic so whatever anyway uh yeah, we're just going to uh, get a little bit of a gold advantage there, I think, for the Polish team. But they covered up the gold values with the huge-ass thing of Counter-Logic Gameberg 01. We all know they're 01 because we watched the first game. And it doesn't matter for this game, but yeah, unfortunately, I cannot see the gold values. I cannot even see the turrets that are being killed. But yeah, that's what you get if you get non-gamers on uh, on this kind of crap. So they can see that Poland is now going for the dragon, but I don't think they can do a whole lot about it. It's really risky to run in there, and they're really in the wrong positions here. Cannon doing a nice ultimate there, getting a stun off on Udir, and Udir is going to drop. Yeah, they were completely all over the place, and they are going to give two kills away. Three kills, wow. Three kills for one, and they get, get, get a dragon, so uh, Poland gets a dragon. Oh, that's actually four for two now. Five for two, sorry. Oh, all these little... <sighs> yeah, now now Dragon is going down. So Dragon didn't actually drop in the uh, the scuffle before. But yeah, that was 5 for 2, and that is a big deal for uh, for Poland. Because that's actually, uh, uh, let's say, 900 for the kills, plus uh, 900 for the Dragon, or 1000 for the Dragon. That's between eighteen and nineteen hundred gold, something like that, and that is a huge amount this early on. Well, early in the amount of kills. I mean, five kills if you only have seven, that is a big deal. And once again, with a good start of uh, the Canadian team, they managed to uh, to come back. So Poland manages to come back. Because now they're probably ahead in uh, in gold, although CLG did get the first dragon. Sorry, Canada did get the first dragon. Still not sure if it's actually the Canadian team or CLG. But yeah, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. It's the same difference. You know what I'm talking about. And yeah, we cannot read the names anyway, so...
Oh, Cannon doing a nice ultimate here and actually getting a lot of damage done, but I don't think it's enough to actually keep him alive. Nope. And yeah, Udir should run out of there. Yeah, of course, it's really interesting. There are girls in the audience. Wow, these guys. It's not important at all that Gangplank came in to, uh, to try to save this turret. Nah. Of course not. It's way more important to see a girl in the audience. Anyway, Gangplank did manage to uh, save the turret, although he didn't really do anything. But at least he was there, so he prevented them from uh, tanking the turret and getting it down that way. So, the Polish team now took out a uh, turret in mid. So instead of CLG coming back by killing a turret, they actually didn't. They did get a kill. I missed that, I think. I don't know who died. Oh, duh, I didn't miss that. That was on top lane, cannon dying. Duh. Never mind. I'm just being stupid here. Yeah, it is really early, so just in case you're wondering. I didn't get up at half past four, because that was a little bit too crazy for me. <laughs> but anyway. So we do uh, see them running around in the jungle a little bit. It seems they want to steal the blue buff. And yeah, the the uh, bottom lane turret is now going to drop. Oh, cannon coming in, getting wow, getting a lot of damage down there with the ultimate. That was huge. So cannon getting a little bit out of control here. Um, he's at yeah, I can't read that. Something and two. I think it's one, two, and six, but cannot actually read it. I think it's 1, 2 and 6. So yeah, he's getting quite a bit of gold, um, which means quite a bit of items, and Notchot is actually going to get killed here, I'm assuming. No, the speed buff, yeah, the speed buff good enough. Um, his own speed buff plus the speed buff from Sona. And yeah, the uh, Sona ultimate hitting someone, but didn't actually result in a kill. And obviously, I couldn't see who that was. I think it was Cannon, but I'm not actually sure. So Skarna getting out of that and getting back into bottom lane this time. And uh, I cannot see the uh, turrets that have dropped. That's kind of a shame. Also cannot really see the wards or whose wards they are. But yeah, they are, they're they're highlighting the wards now. There are two wards on the map for uh the green team, which is Poland I say I think. And um there are two wards on the map for the red team. No, the red team is Poland. The green team is actually CLG. Or well, whatever. So these are the commentators. I know the left guy, but I don't know f where I know him from. So, <laughs> yeah, the support's battling it out here. Over this one ward. And um, Tristana actually coming in for a gank. Hang on, Tristana was on the bottom team, yeah, so, on the blue team, so not actually coming in for a gank, or maybe she was, I don't know. At least she's, she's now in, b in mid lane and is going to clear up all of these minions. Tristana now has infinity edge, has some lifesteal, uh, Rice has a lot of uh, mana, also already has the... Um, Benji's Veil and 
uh, extra armor from the glacial shroud, plus some extra um, magic resist and tenacity from his boots. Mercury strats, also Mercury strats on enemy gangplank, and Poland actually picking up another dragon. Which, of course, is a big deal, as always. Dragon gives you about a thousand gold and, uh, as a team. And all in all, that can uh, put you so far ahead if you get that like two or three times. That the game doesn't even depend on farming too much anyway, anymore. Because you're... Uh, your support can then buy really nice items and if your support has really nice items you as a team will be able to do a whole lot more. So Cannon going in to push this top lane a little bit but Skarner right on his heels together with Udir and they are going to prevent uh, Cannon from doing too much damage. And the mid turret might actually be taken out here. Oh, no more minions because, well, they get cleared up easily by Morgana. Morgana, who's now wearing a blue potion or elixir, that's why she has the blue shimmer around her. But it looks horrible in this kind of a resolution, and yeah. Oh, the ultimate from Sona having to be used defensively and Sona actually dropping, which means that yeah, they don't have a real engage anymore and Tristara jumping in. Oh, that was really unwise. <sighs> Come on, guys. Pick it up. Yeah, Vayne is really low, but there's no way they can reach here. Um... Well, with the flash, I guess, <laughs> yeah, Hotshot GG disagreeing with me there. And is going flash into ultimates and actually picked her off. But that did mean that he wasn't there for the rest of the team fight. But they do pick off Cannon, which is awesome. And eventually it's a 2 for 3 trade. So I guess they get, it, it might also be 3 for 3, but not actually sure. But they did pull it out eventually, whether it's 2 for 3 or 3 for 3. They were behind in the amount of kills and then they equalized it. Or at least equalized it. Maybe they got one more kill out of that. But at least the kill count is 10 to 12. They are still at least one dragon behind. I should keep track of that on some paper. But yeah. Keep forgetting to do that. Baron so far hasn't been taken yet. At least not that I've seen. And I'm pretty sure even the most inexperienced uh, cameraman will understand that if five people are in one spot, that's probably where you should focus. So all of the... Uh, all of the champions backing are recalling in the mid lane, but no, still two available to clear out the minion wave. I hate it that I that that I cannot see the the available mana, for example. Well, I hate it that the stream is just such low quality, but well, anyhow. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on, at least in, in the camera, and I cannot really watch the minimap. Oh wow, Udia getting ganked, and is going to die here. There's no backup coming, it seems. And slow going down. Another slow going down, and he is dropping eventually. Nobody could reach him, and the whole Gameberg team is here, so whole Polish team is here uh it might be a 5v4 situation now at 
Baron, and they are going for Baron. So, yeah, Canadian team obviously trying to run in, but yeah, Skarner is getting caught off guard. At least I think it's yeah, it was Skarner. And now it's a three versus five situation, and they can go back to Baron. Oh, two versus five, and Sona is actually going to drop here. Wow. Fane is so strong late game. Yeah, and this um, Tristana really has no, yeah, no reason to ju to try to jump in there. They have no vision. They uh, with vision, of course, she can uh, try to steal it, but yeah, that's not going to happen. Wouldn't be advisable anyway, but still. <laughs> So 10 to 16, the kill score, um, with a Baron going to the uh, Polish team. And I'm afraid to say that my personal favorite is going to go out of this match. They might still come back, of course. Um, I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> and yeah, this game... At least, yeah, top lane, I think they got kind of uh, equal. Um, not actually sure about the score there. I think it's 1 and 4 for a hotshot. But that's not really the point. The uh, minion score is way more important. Because most of the deaths will occur in the team fights. And yeah, I'm not sure where they uh, they left it this time. I think it's just the small errors, not really the big ones like last time. But they should be able to defeat a non-professional team from Poland. I, I have no clue why they weren't able to do this. But I guess that's just the way it is at the moment with CLG. They're getting, getting a little bit complacent. They are starting to uh, to think they can just go into these tournaments and immediately win. But apparently the Polish team practiced a lot. And, well, you see the result here. They are going to get two turrets for this. So this one, the second, uh, this is the second turret and probably the inhibitor before the rest responds. Oh, actually hitting the Banshee's fail there. That might come in to, uh, to be useful. Banshee's fail now takes 45 seconds to uh, to reapply the, the bubble, the spell shield. No, they're actually going to back off, so it's not a problem for uh, uh, for Rice. Fane is still in the bottom lane, obviously still wearing the Baron buff, but yeah, just by um, that one team fight or that one Udir uh, dying, they lost four kills or five kills. I think Tristana got out, but anyway, uh, they lost at least four kills, and. Um, they lost the Baron uh, because of that. They lost two turrets, and I forgot to check the inhibitor, but I'm pretty sure the inhibitor is still up. So, just off that one Udir kill, they managed to get uh, that's. Hang on, that's fifteen hundred for Baron, uh, but twelve hundred for the kills. Uh, plus an oracles, by the way. So let's call that 1600. Now I have, uh, it, it's about 2000, let's say. Uh, so that's 3500 plus uh, the two towers. That's another 1500. Yeah, you can imagine that's 5000 gold. So <laughs> that is huge! Just by getting Udir killed. And yeah, that that is just how you lose a game. So that might be 
the reason why they're losing. Just these little errors and the Polish team just taking every opportunity to increase their lead or decrease their uh, well their deficiency basically. But in this case they were not ahead in the early game but they just played very well every opportunity they got. Every time they got a kill somewhere of someone significant so basically as long as it's not to support anyone and got on a turret or a dragon for it and then in the end of course that spirals out of control I mean you could see this last one as I said one kill resulting in uh, 5000 gold difference and yeah the uh, nexus exploding here <laughs> The Polish team celebrating because they actually won and they are going to go to the finals. I hope we will see the score screen. Oh, this is not pixelated at all. No, it's it's excellent quality. I think it fits the game really well that they have this kind of a stream. That's just excellent. So guys, let's go. Do we have a score screen? Probably not. So they are celebrating that they are going to the grand final and they will go up against um, either um, CGE, which is uh, Team USA, or they will get up against um, Come on, what was the other team called? I forgot. I forgot what the other semi-final is. Uh, it's... Oh my god. This is really bad. No, I, I totally whiff on the names. So anyway, you'll have to see that for yourself. And if I get, the vi get hold of the videos, um, I will cast them. Hopefully they will be better quality than this one, because this one was pretty horrible. Anyway, hope you still enjoyed. I will see you next time. Cheers.